I usually wake up between about 4.30 a.m. and 5 a.m. So I, you know, I get up, I do my pour over because I love like really good coffee. And so then um, I work, get ahead of everything, get some stuff done, have like clear headed time to like 7.40, uh, 7.45 a.m. Then I go out and I go running and then I come home and I don't take meetings till 9.30. So I give myself time to get ready, answer emails so that when the day starts, I don't feel behind because I used to start later and it just always... There's nothing like, there's nothing good about starting the day feeling like it's chasing you is the way I like to say it. Like you want to feel like you're the one going after the day. I read something once that said, never start your day with your inbox because that's basically addressing everyone else's to-do list first. And I love that concept. And I since have never, I never start with my inbox. I always start with my list, which is great. But what I'm not doing is what you're doing which is giving myself space to work fully outside of everybody else. Because even if I'm not in my inbox, the thing that always comes back to me is Slack. You know, my team probably doesn't love that I do this, but I spend the majority of the day with my computer in do not disturb mode so that I only get notifications that are forced through so that I can, you know, kind of stay focused unless I'm, you know, available, but oftentimes kind of in my role where I'm at right now, because right? We're a growing organization. I wear a lot of hats. And so when you have to be a lot of things to a lot of people, I find that if I don't have those boundaries, then all I'm doing all day is responding to everybody else. And then what doesn't work with starting your work day at 5.30 a.m. is at 5.30 p.m. having two hours worth of, you know, emailing and more work to do, right? That's the other side of it is you have to stop early enough. Otherwise it's just, you know, you're working 14 hours a day and that's not fun either.